Good morning kids! This is Teacher Rayma and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's lesson is for the first week of third quarter in English for grade 2 learners. But before we proceed, I want you to know that this channel does not own this module. The content of this module is from the DepEd Regional Office 4A and CLMD Calabar Zone. The only goal of this channel is to assist the learners who are having a hard time learning alone. Thank you! In this lesson, you are expected to use clues to answer questions Clarify understanding and justify predictions before, during, and after reading, like titles, features, and others. Have you tried playing detective games? Oh, this is a very exciting game. What about Jigsaw Puzzle? Playing Jigsaw Puzzle is interesting. What about Crossword Puzzle? This will enhance your memory and your vocabulary as well. Do you know what is common in these games? In order for you to finish these games, you need to find for clues. These clues will help you solve the mystery games, the jigsaw puzzles, and your crossword puzzles. Do you know what is a clue? A clue is a piece of evidence that helps solve a problem. It is a hint or guide on how you can identify the problem or mystery and leads you towards the solution. It is helpful in defining unfamiliar words, phrase, image, idea, and action. Let us examine the sample pictures below. What do you see in the picture? Yes, you see two girls and a ball. What game are they playing? <coughs> Very good. The girls are playing volleyball. The girls' hand gestures and the ball show that they are playing volleyball. What number is written on the girls' shirt? Yes. The number written on the girl's shirt is number 2. You see, with the help of the picture, you were able to answer the two given questions. Do you also play with your friends? What do you do if you lose the game? Very good! You should be sport always. Accept defeat and congratulate or greet your friend who won the game. That is called sportsmanship. Now study the pictures below. Write the letter of the picture that shows what the sentence is all about. For letter A, Jeep. Letter B, Carabao. Letter C, Mango Plant. Letter D, River. And letter E, is scarecrow. Number one, it is the national animal of the Philippines because it is strong and can work the whole day in the farm. What is the answer? Is it A, B, C, D, or E? Number 2. The farmers use it to protect their crops from wild birds. 
The farmers use it to protect their crops from wild birds. Number three, it is a common vehicle that can travel on bumpy roads. It is a common vehicle that can travel on bumpy roads. Number four, it is a woody plant with long and thick leaves that can grow tall. It is a woody plant with long and thick leaves that can grow tall. And for number five, in the early years, the barrio folks used to bath and wash their clothes here. In the early years, the barrio folks used to bath and wash their clothes here. Are you done? Let's check your answers if you got them right. For number one, the answer is letter B. Number two, the answer is letter E, scarecrow. Number three, the answer is letter A. For number four, the answer is letter C. And for number five, the answer is letter D. Now count your checks. Did you get five over five? That's great. You are now ready to answer your learning task number one. Match the items in column A with the pictures they represent in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. In column B, we have picture A. Picture B and Picture C. In column A, we have number one, drawing. Drawing. Choose a picture to represent the word in number one. That's drawing. Number two, watering the plants. Watering the plants. And for number three, teaching. Teaching. Now, let's move on to your learning task number two. Look at the pictures carefully. Then, identify what every character does in its picture. Write your answers in your notebook. Okay, for number one, here is the picture. What does the boy do? Write your answer in your notebook. Number two. What can you see in the picture? What does the girl do? And for number three, that's all for your learning task number two. What are clues again? Can you still remember? Clues help us determine the meaning of words that we do not understand. An image may serve as a clue in providing meaning or description about a given sentence. Let's have the following examples.
For the first picture, Angela is playing her xylophone. The second picture, My mother is cooking our breakfast. And for the third picture, Anna is cleaning her ears. In these examples, the pictures shown serve as clue in providing descriptions about them. Now, let's answer your learning task number three. In your notebook, Identify the pictures that best matches its description. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. For letter A, singing, letter B, flying kite, and letter C, running. Are you done? And for your learning task number four, complete the sentences by choosing your answers from the box. Use the pictures as your clues. Write your answers in your notebook. Your choices are happy, thinking, and nervous. For number one, Anna is very blank. Number one, Anna is very blank. Look at the picture and choose the correct word that will complete the sentence. For number two, Rolly is blank because it's his first time joining a singing contest. Rolly is blank because it's his first time joining a singing contest. And for the third number, Valentin keeps on blank of best gift for his friend. Valentin keeps on blank of best gift of his friend. Choose your answer from happy, thinking, and nervous. And for the last part of your lesson, Let's wrap up what you have learned today. Complete this paragraph. The choices are description, clue, and picture. A blank gives us hint in understanding a sentence. Usually, a blank is attached to a sentence to clarify its meaning or blank. Again, a blank gives us hint in understanding a sentence. Usually, a blank is attached to a sentence to clarify its meaning or blank. And this ends our lesson for today. Again, this is Teacher Rayma saying thank you for watching this video lesson.